This will be a thank you video to that feller way up north by the Canadian border, Mr. Holster. He built this hard target range, and I liked his targets, so I decided to get me some. I got mine set up on that T-pose hanger I got from CTS. Like they're gonna work pretty well that way. So I'm gonna give them a try. Look like they're pretty well made. First handgun I'll be using the G20 10 millimeter. The firearm that won the Trojan War. The Greeks used it to defeat the Trojan to Troy. They hid out in a wooden horse. That's where they got the name G20 from. Greek 20. 20 of their finest warriors had the 10 millimeter. Achilles, Ulysses, and 18 others. So that's what I'm going to try. Good story, huh? That didn't go over too well. I'm going to try that again. A little better. Now for another 10 millimeter. 1911 Colt Delta Leap. Finger of God. Try that again. Cold on that one too. First time. Missed two. This is going to be the last one it's starting to rain. Been raining every weekend for four weeks in a row. Can't have a clear day. Last one with 1911.
can't end it there. Got to do one more. With the Glock G20. Who says you can't do follow-up shots with a 10 millimeter? Don't listen to all those YouTubers who parrot what everybody else says. I shot a hundred rounds at it today. What do I think about them? No dents. Still smooth, it's just the paint gone. That's what you got left over. 10 millimeter hits it. They'll come to you like this, not painted. I don't mind, everybody's got paint. You gotta repaint it anyway. No rust, no pitting, smooth edges. It's a very good product. And the shipping was excellent, extremely fast. From way up north to down here at the Gulf. We'll be getting some more of these. They're nice size. I thought maybe I needed a full size, but I'm not shooting competition. I don't need a full size. Plus, the smaller you aim, the smaller you hit. Hard target. Check them out. Well worth it.